In a world where tides change, trends come and go, and giants rise and fall, there are those who stand the test of time, inspiring growth and continuity against all odds. For 27 years, Coleman Wires and Cables has challenged industry standards to become West Africa's largest cable manufacturer. From humble beginnings in Lagos, Nigeria, Coleman Wires and Cables has leveraged homegrown resources, local talents, and innovative technology to build a one-stop shop for high-quality cables at the most competitive prices to meet Nigeria's cable needs. Uh, the driving force for us in establishing Coleman Wires and Cables was to create a, a localized solution to power cables for Nigeria, for where we saw there was a massive gap uh, for us to solve um, in solving our local needs of power. And when you look at the infrastructural deficiencies, cable happens to be a fair amount of it. The unique part of common cables is it's the range, the range and the capacity. Uh, in terms of Nigeria, in terms of Africa today, we have one of the biggest range of product range of um, cables that is locally produced. Uh, we pride ourselves in actually saying all our cables are made in Nigeria of the highest quality, of the highest volume. Today we could say we are technically the biggest cable company in Africa and are able to do that based on capacity. And that its meaning itself is that you're having the ability to have volume oriented production, which in turn becomes a cheaper production in country. What is unique to, to Coleman, I would say, first thing is quality. Um, the cable industry is the only area of industry where you are, you are, you are told that buy made in Nigeria. Uh, and the reason behind that is we guard the quality quite jealously. What began as a venture of one man with a clear vision has evolved into an industry giant consistently surpassing expectations. By that time, we have about 12 manufacturers in Nigeria. And then we have an association called Kaman, Cable Manufacturers Association of Nigeria. And then we, so in our, you know, in our usual session, we try to evaluate how the other, how many, uh, the, the balance 11 companies, what are their production uh, capacity and what is ours. So first thing is target is to meet the entire production plan of the 11 plus hours. So we should set a program of five years for. But behold, we were able to achieve that within three years. So and then, so we now have to you know, set another plan for another five years. And we didn't even finish the other one before we started another five years. And that five years was to be able to look at what the whole West African sub-region that we produce, including the East uh, Africa. So then we must we look at that and now say, okay, that should be our drive. Evolving with the trends. What should be our next site uh, expansion plan? So then we then came out and said with a program that we should be able to do uh, turn Colbert into one shop, one stop shop for every cable that is required. So uh, that was the second plan, which we are still on now. So uh, that's why we then look at it. We, uh, by the time we now did that, we now look at, okay, what else is uh, required? Then we now find out, oh, we're now in the digital world. Uh, okay, we're in a digital world. If we're going to have a one-stop one shop, then we should be looking at optic fiber, which is though it's very expensive to go on into, but we believe it's not unsurmountable in terms of uh, because in terms of the experience of Ghana and the type of finance that's required also should be able to get that. So that was the one that we have uh, we stopped. We, we did that in the last two years, and uh, before the end, we gave ourselves for two years. And before the two years, the whole the optic fiber was on on stream, and uh, we're now looking at the. the the second stage of that is we've done the plant one. We need to see before this, the, there's a shortage in the market also of that product. We are looking at further expanding that to Shagamu 
and that's exactly what the, the boys are doing right away. Meeting every type of customer's needs. When we joined uh, Coleman, our, 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 our vision was basically to provide a one-stop shop, uh, a total cabling solution to our customers i.e. you would come to one place and everything you require in your building you can get in one place and to be able to do that we looked at all the types of cables that would go into a building and we we started you know putting the infrastructure in place to be able to produce them so there are five key products that we produce wiring products are what is common to all um, TV and uh, coaxial cable, I call, I call it, which you use for your DSTV and your television. You, can you believe that not one meter of that is made in Nigeria? Only Coleman makes that cable. Um, something as trivial as that. Um, um, we started in 2014, we started the production of medium voltage cables. Again, not one meter is made by any other place in West Africa. Only Coleman in West Africa makes this cable. So that's again unique to us. Um, CAT6, CAT6 enhanced for your ethernet applications. Again, nobody else makes it. Only Coleman is able to make that. Um, and then the final thing, which is the fiber optic, which we com commissioned. Again, we're the first of its type in and the fifth in Africa to be able to produce. So. In, if you think about a building, you need power, you need data, you need, you, you know, you need your CCTV. So you can get everything in one place. And I think that is only unique to Coleman. Pioneering through technology. For us, the, we've pioneered a lot of things in technology in Nigeria. We've pioneered in terms of the, uh, the vision to actually do something exceptional. And when you're trying to do something exceptional, you also have to buy exceptional technology in terms of machinery. Now, Coleman, as for instance, today we're doing gap cable, and gap cable needed a specific type of drawing because you're drawing trapezoid shaped aluminum. And when you're drawing trapezoid, not every machine can do it. And from the biggest producer of drawing machines in the world, where the we own the tenth line in the world in this country today. So that is making from that company trapezoid shaped aluminum, which is from Neof. And that is pioneering into so many other parts of the industry. We, we're now putting in machines today, we, at which we have within our Shagama 2 project, that is for rubber cable. And rubber cable is for the marine cable industry. It's used in every FPSO, which is a floating platform uh, for oil drills. And that advantage is for the first time, and second in Africa, you're able to now also, with this machinery, produce rubber line up to, mid up to high voltage for any FPSO project. So you've got Bonga South where you have got Bonga now. So today, for the first time, we can start thinking 100% cable is going to be bought in Nigeria, exported to wherever it's going to be done from and installed in this in, in this uh, vessels so it changes the dynamics of how we think it changes the optimism of business in Nigeria. it changes the view of how we should see the opportunities of what can be done in country in nigeria and attaining with this machine and, that, and the same thing with fiber optics all these are new technology machines that we're bringing it in pioneering these industries and being able to show that you can build in Nigeria, you can make it in Nigeria, and you can create positive solutions in Nigeria with machines that are state of the art, which are being run by Nigerians. And empowering Nigerians. I'm a strong believer in, in Nigeria and, and Nigerians. Um, and we're very, very proudly Nigerians. Um, I, I may have studied abroad, but I am 100% Nigerian. Um, so when people come, they look at the plants, they look at, oh, you must have some, some foreign influence. I'm like, no, we don't have any foreign influence. We are the white people, myself and George. <laughs> Who is the expatriate? We are the expatriates. So those, those things for us, it's, it's a thing of pride. So for me, I needed to understand the business. I needed to be able to to learn and then be able to impart the same to my guys. Um, so 
Everything I've learned, I've taught a team of people that work closely with me. And because I'm able to do that and transfer that knowledge, we, we've been able to grow the business quite significantly. Another key strength, we, we started out with 14 expatriates. Uh, the reason when, why we did that was we wanted to hit the floor running. I didn't want to do any experimenting. Um, I wanted us to ensure that on day one, we're producing cables that we could sell into the market. So we brought in 14 and gradually 14 became 13 and we were down to one. And all those 13 people were replaced by Nigerians. And it's not because, again, the people that they replaced is not because they didn't know what they, they were doing, but the Nigerians could do the same thing, only that we didn't have the opportunity to be taught. So once they were presented with the opportunity to be taught, they were able to pick up and then and, and, and carry on the business from where those guys left off. We also create jobs for people. And then by that time, we within the retail business that was running, and Adrian has over 2,000 employees. So, so uh, we're looking at something that should be better than that. Today, Kumba in all should be around uh, 5,000 workers. And uh, we should look at the extended workers, like the distributors, sub-distributors, and all what not. That goes into maybe another 20,000. So at least you're creating jobs, and it makes me also very happy that you're able to provide for them people that uh, are working with you. What makes Coleman Wires and Cables work? It's the global outlook and constant drive to change the game. The whole industry is dependent on the importation of fiber optic cable. Now, we looked at it, when we're looking at the solution for Nigeria, for instance, we looked at it, okay, do we want to just solve Nigeria's problem? Or do we want to solve Nigeria and other parts of the continent's problem? And for us, our view was, let us solve as many people and as many countries' problems. So our view was not only about Nigeria, our view of what also was the FX possibilities of getting exports from the fiber optics. Where our production will be doing fiber count up to 288. Now, which is exceptional because even in Nigeria, the maximum fiber count that we've seen so far is 192. And that is, for us, is, is really the game changer. And, you know, the question was asked, why push so much on the boundaries of what, the necessary, what is needed in the country? And I said, look, the question is for us is, are we just a Nigerian company or a company that is focused on the solution for Africa? Coleman today is moving away from just being a Nigerian solution company to a solution company for Africa. So for every decision that we make, we make it looking at a view of an African solution rather than from just a Nigerian perspective. It's the commitment to efficiency. Here you would find machines that are running maybe 30 meters a minute, but you find one that is doing 30 meters a second. So it's, 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 there's been a huge evolution in electronics and the electrical side of business. On the mechanical side, technology has only slightly evolved. The electronics has fully enhanced the business and has posed a lot of efficiency uh, for us. So we started out running 24 hours. Today we run six days a week, eight hours. And in eight hours, I'm doing way more than I would have done when we were doing 24 hours. And the passion of its people. People with the right mindset, people with uh, a disposition for, for growth, understanding that the business is going somewhere and identifying with it and wanting to be part of it. And with those three, uh, if you get them right, um, you can leverage on them and really, really uh, you can get to anywhere that you, you want your business to go to if you get those three things right. Today, Coleman Wires and Cables continues to pursue its mission to manufacture products that meet national and international standards in quality, performance, reliability, and safety. Looking ahead, this manufacturing powerhouse is poised to extend its reach beyond the shores of Nigeria and Africa, cementing itself as a player on the international stage. Nigeria first, where we see our solution for, I believe from this year we will have solved Nigeria's 90% of Nigeria's problem in terms of on our own, in terms of everything to do with cable in every sector. And for us, the next thing is how do we solve in other countries? So it's now we're now exporting 
for me, it's looking at for us at Coleman and for me as a person, I look at it now that we are solving other countries' problems from a Nigerian perspective. So it, it changes that Nigeria is not is not just an inflow country it's now going out there to help develop other countries and help develop their industry or infrastructure through export of nigerian products or through export of the technology and the know-how and the people i believe coleman would be the brand to identify with when it comes to anything to do with our industry um, and i don't mean just nigeria I mean, on the sub-region, which is uh, the, the ECOWAS region, West Africa, Central and East Africa, our, our aim is to expand the business and put footprints, little footprints across these regions to be able to demonstrate that even though we're Nigerian, we can do things uh, similar to those obtainable in the West. Coleman already is the largest in Africa.